Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today I'm back out on the property. I've got three more trays of trees here to plant and some more uh, concrete slabs to move, uh, two by twos. Uh, so I wanna get that done. I'm not gonna show you much of it here because I've showed you in my last videos. My stepfather's moving the axle on his trailer, as you can see here. Uh, he's moving it back probably about a foot or so. Uh, there was no weight on the tongue and that's always a bad thing. Uh, so he's moving it back a foot and uh, yeah, that's what he's up to. So my wife tells me that all the trees are knocked over because we had these uh, trees in like a little container to hold some water so that they get fed, but the dog really liked it. So he's nosing in here, knocking trees down to try to get to the water to drink it. So these three trays are planted now. I got one left to do. Next time we're here, off to something else. It just rained a bunch over here overnight, so I don't know that I can get the tractor out. The trailer is just back over here, but I wanna try to clear out some of this stuff back here. Like I say, I don't know that I'll be able to get to it today. It would be a good time to mess this all up though and uh, clear out all these, well, maybe not all of them, but a bunch of these little trees in here. Get back in here, clean up the branches that have fallen and get over to the trailer and clean that up a bit. We gotta clear out all these trees and these ones back over here. Let me just show you that. There's a lot of brush back here that needs to get gone. Actually, this maple's got a big hole in it. It's not really much good for anything. And then some much larger down trees in here. But I want to clean up this side of the trailer. Oh, that's a really nice maple tree. Oh man. And this is from the trailer side. You can see how thick it is in here. Some nice little spruce trees in here. Just want to clean some of that up. And all of this mess. Brought over my stepfather's weed eater that has the trimmer on it. And I'm just going to give the grass a little go. Well, it looks like my camera fell down while I was cutting the grass. And then I headed off over here, I changed weed eaters and uh, used my chainsaw blade to knock down some of these shrubs. I guess I should go get a tripod. You got it pinched on the front over here. Now we'll roll it over. Oh, look, a tree fell down while I was gone. Just kidding, I didn't have my tripod and I took it down which took down this other maple tree as well. It was kind of dying, but clean them up now. I was just about to set up my GoPro now that I've went and got uh, all that basket of uh, goodies and I left my batteries at home. All right, have to try this another way. So all the logs are stacked. I should probably cut them into firewood, but I really wanted just to get this cleared up. I can see that I still got a bunch of clear up here. All these little branches that came off this, this tree here. This is where I want to build our little 10 by 10 camp. Of course, I have to get it stuck up in the tree. It's all disconnected. I got it connected to my quad here. Just gonna pull it out now.
I'm just trying to be really safe here. I was going to come over on top of the quad, so I pulled the quad out, tried to move it with the shovel, but I'm beat now. Okay, well, dropping these three trees took a lot out of me, that's for sure. I wasn't ready for that tree to get stuck up in the, in the crux of the maple tree, but it did. Uh, they say that dropping trees is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world because you have really no idea what that tree is going to do. And so I was trying to be real safe, just use the shovel, move it a few inches at a time and kind of lift the tree, but lifting and pulling at the same time and I'm a little out of shape, <laughs> a little beat now. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a break, clean some of this up. My idea of a break was to run back to the truck and grab these six blocks. Thankfully, the one in this uh, middle pile is broken, almost right in half, so I only had to lift half at a time. Yep. So I'm gonna unload these and uh, see what I can do. Okay, what a day. Literally, there are no bugs out here at all. It's fantastic. No mosquitoes, no nothing. I don't know what's going on, but I can handle that. Uh, I got my four blocks all set out. Put the last two over here at the base of the trailer. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try to level those guys off right up to the front there. Try to get a roof on this thing this year. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. We gotta cut a lot of lumber first. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, really unfortunate, I forgot my batteries for my GoPro, but uh, kinda is what it is. Not much I can do about it now. Uh, we did get a bunch of work done. We got a few trees knocked down. Got the pads about where they're going. And uh, I did cut a bunch of the, of the roots off of that stump over there. Uh, I might be able to pull it out with a tractor. Not really sure. Might just cut it down with a chainsaw if it's in the way. I will try to remember my batteries for the next episode. Man, it sure uh, is inconvenient when I can't set up a camera like that the whole time. And uh, I don't like using my, my cell phone for stuff. Um, but it is what it is. All right, guys, we are an Amazon affiliate. If you click any of our links down below, we'll receive a small commission. If you're not a subscriber following along, hit that subscribe button to follow along. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it sure means the world to us. And until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Living the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.